In this episode, we're talking about conditional sleeps, creating dates from OL IDs, the Octane V2 release, and removing runtime logs from Laravel Vapor. On the last Laravel update, we have introduced the new sleep helper class, which allows you to perform things such as sleeping for the given amount of seconds. This week, we are introducing conditional sleeps, which are useful to refactor code that looks exactly like this. So here, for example, instead of having this if condition, I could, for example, say sleep for two seconds when the given condition is true. So naturally, if I go to the terminal and I type PHP Artisan Weekly, I expect the given code to take about two seconds as the given condition is true. Laravel is string class helper contains a ULID method which you may use to create compact time order unique identifiers. And now, on the latest version of Laravel, if you wish to know when the given ULID was created, you can use the create from ID method of the carbon class. This method will return back a date instance which points to the exact creation date of the given ULID. Next, a quick update about Laravel Octane. We have just released Octane v2, which is pretty much a maintenance release if you are using Swole. However, if you are using Roadrunner, you might want to check this out because we are bringing Roadrunner v3 support. This new version, which is also known as Roadrunner 2023.1, brings multiple new features that you might find useful, especially if you are a Roadrunner advanced user. As you may know, Laravel Vapor comes with a logs tab, which is very useful to debug issues in your application. However, historically, next to your application logs, you would always find runtime logs, which most of the time are not useful for the, our customers. For this reason, we are now introducing the debug mode, which comes disabled by default. When the debug mode is disabled, which is now the new default mode for every Laravel Vapor application, Vapor will only focus on truly debug messages coming from your application. This may also result on a reduction in your AWS bill, as this update reduces the total number of logs written to CloudWatch. Thank you for watching and see you all next week.